Hi, I've got another bite sized blues lesson for you today, and today I'm going to show you a Jimi Hendrix uh, song called Stone Free, which is another great song, but very rarely gets any coverage in terms of lessons or, or decent covers, although there are a few decent dip covers, and I'll put a link to the, uh, the one I like the most in uh, the description box. Anyway, we'll get straight to it. So the song starts off with these harmonics, it goes like this. And I think what's happening there is I think Hendrix is playing the harmonics and then he's doing some kind of whammy bar diving and then the bass is coming in and going. So what we're going to start off with is the 12th, at the 12th fret of the uh, low E and a D and this guitar, I've not got a, a, a whammy bar on it but you kind of ding ding whilst the bass is going and all I'm doing there is hammering on the A string from the 5th to the 7th uh, that many times how's it up? four times so that goes uh, the next riff is going to go like this And it kind of plays that through the intro and into the first um, uh, first verse. So how, what, how we're going to start off? We're going to start off with the Hendrix chord in E, which, is, if you're interested, is an E7 sharp and nine chord. And what we're playing there is we're playing um, an E, e at the. Um, we're going to play the seventh fret of the A string, uh, sixth fret of the D, seventh of the G, and eighth of the uh, B. So we're going to hit that twice, and then we're going to go. So once we play those those two Hendrix chords, we'll kind of kind of get this kind of muted kind of scratching noise on the A string, and then we're going to go five to seven on the A. Two more scratch scratches, kind of half bend on half bend down on the uh, fifth fret of the fifth fret of the D. So, so far we've got Then we're going to get that kind of scratching noise again on the A and then we're going to go 5 scratch again and then 5 to 7 so that goes very slowly and then we repeat that And actually, on that um, the the ending five to seven, kind of use those fingers if you can, which is going to be your uh, uh, index and the middle finger, because that then leads you immediately to that chord. So if you're kind of using that finger, you have to you, you know rearrange your fingers a little bit. So I I tend to go and then straight into the. Right, the next little part after that is going to be um, the similar kind of thing, but just drop down a set of strings. So it's going to, rather than it being E, it's going to be now be an A. So it's going to, and we're going to go like this. So what we're doing there is we're playing that um, Hendrix chord again, but this time in A, and it's going to be uh, rather than an E seven sharp and nine, it's going to be an A seven sharp and nine. And how we play that is we're going to play seventh of the D string, sixth of the G. And then that little finger is going to bar those two at the A. So that's. So 
we're going to hit that twice to get that kind of scratching noise on the um, on the D twice and we're going to go 57 on the D two scratches again so so far we've got then we're going to kind of do a bend down on the fifth of the uh, G string and then two scratches again on that D string then hit the fifth of the D another scratch it's the exact same thing but move the set of strings down, one string down so so far we've got this So once we play that, we get to this little lick. So how we're playing that is we're going to play the seventh of the D string, then we're going to play a double stop on the fifth of the G and the B. So that. We're going to go to the seventh, bend it down, play it again, at the seventh, and then back to the fifth, and end up on the seventh of the D. So that with the previous little uh, riff goes like this. So once we've we've played that part, we're going to be back into our E and we're going to play this. Which is basically the, the E section again, but it, rather than carry on doing the E section, does this little lick. Oops. Which is again similar to that previous bit lick, but move the string up this time. So what we're doing is we're sliding from the 5th to the 7th, then we're going to bar the, um, the D, G and B at the fifth, so and we're going to hit the seventh back to the fifth, and then we're going to hit the seventh at the uh, A and the D. So that very slowly goes. So with that E uh, riff, it, it goes like this. So, so far we've got this. So once we've got that far, we're going to play this. So how we're playing that is we're basically playing an A bar chord at the fifth, but rather than playing it that way, we're going to play it the Jimi Hendrix way. So we're going to get our thumb over the fifth at the low E. We're going to get nothing on the A string because we want that blunting in. And then we're going to play seven on the D. 6 on the G and 5th on the uh, B so and then we're going to go from that A to a kind of a D but rather than playing a D bar chord as we normally like that we're going to get rid of that root note and just play the 7th uh, of the D G and B so we're going to go get that, re release the pressure get that scratching noise again and hit it twice so that so far we'll go. Then we're gonna go. Which is gonna be fifth of the G string. Give it some vibrato. And then move it go to the seventh of the uh, D. So, so that gets very slowly goes like this. And we repeat that three times. 
And then once we've repeated that three times, we're going to end up on our um, Hendrix chord in the A position again, which is again the A7 sharp and 9. So that pretty much goes like this. Now once we've played that, we're going to play the uh, the chorus, which goes like this. So how we're playing that is we're going to, again, kind of do that uh, D chord, but get rid of the root note and just play the D again. So we're going to kind of... Go between the, the seventh and the and the fifth, which is basically a C. So between, obviously that'd be too cumbersome and slow to do that. So we're going to just basically play the uh, the D, G, and B strings. So we're going to kind of kind. Of... Once we do that, get to that stage, we're going to slide up. To the 12th of the uh, A, and we're going to slide to the 12th, play um, the 3 at the 10th, uh, which is going to be D, G and B again, and then we're going to go to the 12th, back to the 10th, and then we're going to play, which is the 12th of the A and the B, so, so very slowly that goes like this. Twice, then we're going to go back into this. Then we're going to play this C chord, which is pretty much the A, but moved up to C, which is going to be the uh, eighth fret. And we're going to play it. And then that finger now needs to bar those two at the uh, at the uh, B and the E. So we're basically playing a uh, ten at the D, nine at the uh, G and then eight on the B and E, because we need to go, we need to get that little finger on the, uh, every now and then, at the 10th uh, fret of the high E. So we're gonna be playing that. And then move it down to the A position. Back to the, the C. It's not imperative that you have the uh, the thumb, as long as you're getting that. Now that's pretty much all the riffs from the song, apart from at the very end there's a little variation on one riff which goes like this. Which seems a bit of a strange way to uh, end the song, really, but um, that's how it is, and that's how Hendrix, Hendrix played it. So what we're play playing is we're going to be pretty much playing that chorus riff again until we get to that stage, and we're going to go. So that basically goes for the twelfth on the low E, uh, sorry, second on the low E. To the third, to the fourth, to the fifth. And he repeats that a load of times. And then the very last note he plays, uh, well, very last chord he plays, which very strangely, he plays an F. Oh. And, and again, he's got his uh, whammy bar and his kind of type thing. I've not got a whammy bar, so I can't really show you on this. 
So anyway, that's all the riffs. Anyway, that's pretty much all the riffs you will need to uh, play Stone Free by Jimi Hendrix. Uh, again, check out the uh, the cover version that I'll put the link to by a guy called Greg. Uh, he does a pretty good job of it. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy, enjoy it, feel free to uh, subscribe or watch any other bite-sized blues videos. It'd be appreciated. Anyway, thanks a lot.